trials of life. I only speak fact, not fiction, if you care to have a listen of the highways I've crossed throughout my period of existence. At a young age, I was scorned, torn by dysfunction from both sides of blood ties. The closed fist and sexual desire of my sire left me uninspired. Between bottles far frequently sipped and segments of adrenaline he occasionally sniffed came verbal rampages and violent rages. I was left emotionally bruised and confused with an attitude, me against the world and fuck the rest, till I got more acquainted with the opposite sex. Surrender my maidenhood at an early age. Stepping on stage before my time had me thirsty for the dirty dirty, before I could understand what it really meant. Knew damn well I was wrong, but not quite ready to repent. My older comrades spoke of climaxes I only fantasized of reaching. From their teachings, I acquired knowledge of a higher satisfaction. You missing out on all the action, they said. Keep your ass out of bed with that boy and get yourself a man. And just so I could understand, I went out and did just that. So now, I had myself an older cat. Better yet a dog without a chain. And with everything to gain, I lost it all in one night with one fight. Closed legs were pried open. I was hoping he could sense my fears through the tears that rolled. My vital fluids flowed as he ravished my treasures on his quest for pleasure. I felt indecent and ashamed, thinking I was to blame. My experience was to remain classified. And once my eyes were dry, I was back in the mainstream, chasing dreams. Longing to fulfill empty spaces trials of life created. And with sex driving hasty through my pores, I explored it with one brother and then another. Fornication kept me escaping the problems I couldn't solve as I evolved into womanhood. I took breaks as the years passed, but was still hot in the ass. And on one March night of sin became pregnant, only to bear and rear a child on my own while baby daddy's gone. So I chilled for a while until things cooled down. But once I was stable and my body recovered, I found myself another lover. In my eyes, he was precious, but in solidity, he was infectious and came upon me with ease. And for a while, I was pleased until I learned that my temple was embalmed with disease. I was vexed, but at the same time blessed with the greater respect for me. My life was spared and undergoing repairs and renovations that were long overdue. I found this to be true. Once I had burned out on lust, mistaken for love and passion, I was on my knees asking for more guidance and less distraction. I release tension in better ways these days, as I pray the same mistakes are not made by you damsels in distress. Search for the best that resides inside. Keep your eyes peeled and your thighs sealed. Higher heights and sleepless nights of lovemaking comes later. And once your races has been ran and you're finally finished, in purity you'll find a power that is never replenished.